guy's gonna... Oh. Oh, here they go. <gasps> Little lumpy blue things. Where are you going? The miracle of life. These dinosaurs just came into being and you're leaving? No, you're not. You're confused, Chuck. Yeah, okay. Throw food at him, that works. Um, wasn't what I meant, but... Oh, they're much cuter when you zoom out so it isn't all, you know, pixelated. No. Oh, I know. I know, you don't like anything about this place, do you? You don't like anything about it. Okay, deciduous. Poor creatures. <laughs> right at the same time as that last one came out of its egg. African buffalo is given birth. It's okay, be happy. Do you want, like, the whole thing to be deciduous? Like... No? Well, well, okay, but you weren't... You weren't looking excited anymore, so I thought... Are you not pleased anymore? Too much decidu- Oh, right, fresh water. Duh. Okay. Why can't find any food? I am resisting the urge to ask why. Why I can't find any food. Um, I think right here should be nice. Like that. You know, like... I wish you could make it rounded and not so square. Not enough fresh water. Are you sure? What about now? Not enough fresh water. Are you... Are you sure? <laughs> These aren't, like, swimming dinosaurs, are they? Are you sure you need this much water? Okay, but what about all the coniferous or grass that's in here. Do you you want the grass? You Well if I had known that you wanted it, I would have put it in like, you know, nicer looking. Blessing has given birth. Blessing Blessing Blessing. You've given birth. Blessing, miraculous, you. You guys can't see, but I'm face palming right now. She either had a baby with her brother or her father. Did. Please don't do things like that. It upsets me. I'm. I'm sure the baby is beautiful, but that's not. That's not... Reba! Are you going to help him? Okay. I... Yeah, I know... 
She had a baby with her relative. I... Okay, that, that needs to be sorted out. Um, but I gotta take care of these guys first. So they apparently want grass mixed in with their deciduous, which I didn't know. I just thought I was covering it all up. So I have the grass, you know, spread around in a really stupid looking way. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. What the hell kind of noise was that? I know, you don't like it. I know. I know, you don't like it. I understand. I understand that. And what's more, I respect that. But see, I'm... I'm just gonna cover the whole thing with deciduous. And then I'm gonna put the grass in after. And I'm gonna try to make it look nicer. Okay, please stop making those horrible noises. Those sound like freaking monster dinosaur noises, like they should be coming out of something ten times larger than you. Okay. Stop making those horrible noises. Please stop. Okay. I don't know how to put... <laughs> I don't know how to design exhibits nicely, okay. <laughs> now we know. I am given a blank canvas and I... I essentially just doodle all over it. Are you happy? I think it looked better before. <laughs> okay. Please stop making those god-awful noises. It's really upsetting. Um... Magnolia. Okay, um... Can I... Can I put... Okay. There isn't a huge selection of trees for them, is there? around the water, shouldn't I? I think that makes sense. I'm giving you guys a little forest. Thompson's Gazelle 14. I'm, I'm ecstatic for you. Oh, look! Up on its hind legs! I just pointed at the screen like an idiot. But, but look! It's walking around on its hind legs. It's so cute. I'm sorry, Zebra. Can I put down trees that are not from the dinosaur times, or...? Yeah. Okay. They don't care. Yeah, sure. Wild olive tree. Why the fuck not? Pacific dogwood. Sure.
Do you want this? Oh good. Put some color in there. Snowbell? Nice. Put down a bonsai. Yep. Put down some of these weird looking things. I'm trying to leave it kind of clear up there because I imagine that's where the main viewing station is going to be. Jesus, these guys are miserable. I am slowly but surely building you guys a beautiful forest, okay? Put down a bunch of those already. Elm tree, right? Those are nice. Down some maple trees. And a thornless mesquite tree. Whatever the hell it is, you can have one. You can have two. You can have many. Oh, right. I forgot to put a shelter in. Damn it. That means I'm gonna have to delete some trees. Um. Do you guys... No. No, you guys are gonna need this big honking thing. Of course you are. Um. Can I fit it in without having to... I don't know if I want it there. I don't know. Oh, I don't want it facing that way. No, I'm doing that. I'm doing this for you. You don't want to have your shelter facing the people so they all just stare at you while you're trying to sleep. I usually try to put the shelters like more in the back, you know, so they have privacy, but... Yeah, you know what? I just, I don't like it there. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to upset you. I do not live to ruin your life. What's that? Yeah, okay. Now don't worry. Plop a bunch more trees down. Put down a little bush. There. Eighty-seven. I'm not particularly impressed with that. Okay. Rock formation. Isn't that just fantastic? Doesn't that make you so happy? Eighty-eight. No. Reba, for the love of Jesus. job is to take care of some inbred goats and she's always complaining. 88. I I want more than that.
90. I don't know. I can try pushing it a bit more. No, no, we can't. <laughs> I could do my grid trick, but I don't know. I think 90 is pretty good. Okay. connected. Um, gotta move that. Well, I'll just delete it actually, not move it. And I'd also like to you know, make a connection here. Put it there. Because I do want to have like a playground over here. Okay. There. See? I'm probably in like episode 11 now, but still. Shit got done. Put you there. Put you there. Nope, not there. Right there. Goodbye, are you? Maple. Okay, we need to, um, that one. Okay, we need to have some words here. Um, blessing. I'm going to assume you and your brother miraculous and and blessing had a baby. Oh. <laughs> well, when you think about it like that, you know, two animals named miraculous and blessing have a child, you think, God, this must be the second coming of Christ. But the fact is, it's an inbred little goat. Maybe mild inbreeding is okay? I mean, I don't know. Isn't that something that animals usually try to avoid in nature? I mean, I don't, I don't know, like, is this cruel and unusual? Or is this just, like, something that animals do sometimes and we shouldn't freak out over it? What should we name her? Um, first word that came into my head. Sundial. Just... Just first word. Um, 
Okay, we're, we're gonna tentatively leave this alone, but I, I, I can't have the... I can't have them getting all inbred with each other. I don't... I don't think that's supposed to be happening. And now I'm gonna plop down some more trees, because I'm sure you haven't seen enough of that. I'm sure you were thinking to yourselves, God, I hope we get to see another segment of plopping down trees. That's why we watch this LP, is because we like to see trees. That's the entire point of the whole damn thing. Just, just tree after tree after tree. We're gonna... I don't know. We're gonna call that good for trees. Okay, I should probably name you guys or something. I'm gonna name you... Bluey. And you can be, um... I was thinking of calling him Whitey, but I thought that might be kind of offensive. Um, I don't know. Let's call him Hank. Um, gonna name you uh, Georgia, and name you. First name that popped into my head was Hillary. I was like, no, that's a zookeeper. Second one that popped into my head was Lisa, and I was like, also a zookeeper. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't know. Her name is Sarge. Okay. I wonder how big they're going to be when they grow up. I wonder if they're going to be one of the ones where they get, like, frickin' humongous, or if they're just going to get a little bit bigger. Okay. Oh, how many people do I have in this place? Number of guests. Joffrey has died of old age. Goodbye, Joffrey. My zoo rating has gone down. Why? I'd like to get some more awards. I'd like that. To do that, I should probably work on excellence rather than just adequacy. Uh. Oh, Cinder. Good for you, Cinder. Um. Yeah, see, I put the prices up in the hopes of deterring so many people from coming here. There. Exhibit is so small. Okay, we have to... We have to have a talk, you guys. You're a cub. You're a cub. You are no longer a cub. Goodbye, Lion24. Lion... Lion23. You are a very handsome man, but you too must leave. Oh wait, no, are you the only male I have? No, no. Goodbye. Okay, now there's you. You are the new male of the pride. We shall name you, um... 
You know what? We'll name him Cecil the Second. I think that's nice. Cinder Tulip. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll let uh, Lion 22 kick it for a bit. I'm sorry, Thompson's Gazelle 10. Let's see how our animals are doing here. One. Two, three, four. So four African buffaloes, three females, and then Y is a male. One, two, three, four. Four wildebeest, 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 and they're all male, so that's for the point of view of, of herd making, that is pointless. One zebra. Is that it? Yeah. One zebra. One sad, lonely little zebra. Um, Thompson Gazelle 12. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well after these ones pass away, and I don't I don't think they're gonna breed fast enough to replenish their numbers. After they pass away, you know, we're gonna kinda retire this exhibit. I will miss these little bouncy creatures, but you die too fast. You only live like a year and I can't take it. Reba Reba, what? What, Reba? You literally have, like, like three jobs. You, you feed the inbred hillbilly goats. You heal the inbred hillbilly goats. I don't remember the first thing I said. You feed them, you heal them, and then you clean up their poop. And that's literally, like, all you have to do. I'm really not asking for that much. I'm really not. I never did put down a zoo map, did I? How rude of me. These poor people wandering about, not knowing where anything is, because I didn't put down the zoo map. Where is it? What's this? Oh. You could tell that whoever wrote that wasn't feeling very inspired when they... <laughs> Guests will find the pirate's loot amazing. <laughs> that, that wasn't a very inspired description. Um, well, they're probably running out of things to put at that point, you know? They're having to describe all the 50 zillion different ways that people will enjoy, you know, archways and torches and stuff, and they find it ran out of descriptive words, and they're like, they'll find it amazing, okay? They'll love it. There's that. Maybe I can fit a. Statue. I'd like to put down just like, you know, a nice little statue, something that doesn't prancy. <laughs> oh god. At at least that baby hopefully isn't inbred, but Still, just a couple episodes ago, I couldn't make the... <gasps> that is so fitting, because this is Cecil's zoo. This zoo is in honor of Cecil. That is so fitting. I think it's a little... There. That is beautiful. I finally thought of what I should call this place. Get rid of this crappy name. There. Cause that's what this whole 
frickin' Let's Play is about, right? So, there. And with that, I am going to end this session. I hope you enjoyed. I... <laughs> perhaps in vain, but I hope. Um, so, yeah, have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.